Let this be another night To tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight To erase your face, my mind Awake, I lie here staring up beyond the sky So I thought it'd be really fun to do an anti-Valentine's Day look. Something not so pink and, you know, girly and romantic, but a little bit darker, a little bit more intense, and a little bit more offbeat. I decided to do, like, these weird veiny things on my eyes and create a dark inner corner instead of the usual outer corner. And do like a gray purple lip it's very full coverage and glowy but matte in all the right places I hope that you enjoy this tutorial it's a little bit different and go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this tutorial thumbs up this video if you also like it and comment in the comment section down below Let's get started. I already prepped my skin with my skincare routine. I used my Josie Marin lip balm as well. And then I also, for my eyes, used my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have recently discovered how much I like it. And then I also used two different face primers. I used my NARS Radiance Face Primer all over to give my skin a little bit of a glow. And then I used my NARS Smooth and Protect Face Primer. Both of these have SPF, so I skipped SPF before that. So for the eyes, I'm going to use my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts Eyeshadow Palette. I'm starting off with Princess. And I'm going to start to create my eye shape right above my natural crease, bringing it down to the outer corner. I'm creating sort of like a triangle, if that makes sense. Bringing it up towards the front part of my brow. Ladyship, or any purple -y shade. I'm going to focus that right in between the eye and the brow in the inner half of the eye. Oh, by the way, I'm using my MAC 217 brush, which is a medium-sized blending brush. I'm going to take Duchess and a little bit lower. I'm just going to start to blend that into that area. I'm going to take Royal Prerogative, which is this beautiful brown shade with a caramel undertone, and I'm going to place that all over the lid. And I'm using a different brush. I'm using the Delium Tools, I mean Morphe Vegan Brush. I'm going to go in with Queen Mother with a flat brush. I'm going to put this on the inner half of the eye lid. Now I'm taking Dethrone and I'm going to put that on the outer half of the lid. Overlapping the colors a little bit. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and blend out all those edges. Because this one's a little smaller, I'm going to use this one for underneath my eyes. It was that Morphe brush that we used for Royal Prerogative. And I'm going to take more Royal Prerogative and go underneath the eyes with it. Connecting 
the shade with the upper lid. Again, I'm just going to blend all the way around the edges. I'm taking my Tarte Aubergine Clay Paint Liner. I'm going to line the lash line and kind of bring it up in faux lashes. I love it with this look because it's like one step darker than the shades that I'm using. So it doesn't look harsh. Sporadically bring up and across. Like I'm painting on lashes. I went ahead and threw a little bit in my waterline as well to create that nice dark inner rim. And then I'm going to clean up the fallout, throw on some mascara, and do my brows. Now for complexion, I'm going to be using my new favorite, the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade 1.1. I'm going to use my silicone sponge. I've used this a couple times. I find that this kind of like smears on the product and I need less than I would for, with the Beauty Blender because it doesn't absorb into it. A little goes a long way. I find when I just smear it does cause some streakiness. So then I like to take a Beauty Blender or something and just kind of go over everything. With the silicone sponge, I have trouble blending out little areas like the crevices in the nose or right around the brows. So I think I'm not like the biggest fan of it just because I can't just use it without going in with my fingers or something because it's too hard for me to work around my eye look and blend it right around the nose area. Maybe they'll come out with some different shapes. But because with this sponge, it sort of like smears it over the skin, I find that it can make my texture and my pores look a little bit bigger because it's like not melding it into the skin, if that makes sense. And it's not the foundation because the foundation does a really good job. But yeah. I'm going to go in with my vanilla NARS soft matte complete concealer. I'm going to take my Sephora 57 brush, my favorite concealer brush, and dip that in here. It's so full coverage. A little goes a long way in my opinion. Okay, so I concealed. Before setting with powder, I'm going to take a little bit of my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in the shade Pink Plum, this shade here. I'm going to take it on my Beauty Blender and tap this lightly on to the apples of my cheeks and up into the hairline. Look at how pretty that blush is. Ugh, I love those Maybelline blushes. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder, translucent, so I'm lightly setting my concealer. It's a very smoothing powder. I quite like it. We are doing full coverage today. I'm going to take my favorite contouring recently, and that is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. I've been loving it with my MAC blush brush. And I always start with this guy, the bronzer shade. I always place it with the long end up to slightly go back and forth. I've been getting a lot of compliments in person when I do this. I'm going to take a little bit more and bring that along the hairline. I'm going to take a smaller brush and lightly contour the lip and the nose. With the nose, I like to lift the tip of my nose. I like to put some underneath. Bring it up a little bit and then bring it along the sides. 
and then a little bit right in here just to kind of make the look of a lifted tip of the nose okay and then I take the highlighting side and I blend that right above the bronzer okay and then I take a large fluffy brush and I blend it all out I want a little more oomph with my highlight so I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Lavender Snow highlight the very tops okay and then finally I'm going to take for my lips, Cold Shoulder from Dose of Colors. Okay, so that completes this look. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Cake Face family. Thumbs up this video if you like the deep, dark, anti-Valentine's Day look. And comment. In the comment section down below. I will catch you in my next one. Bye loves. I thought